I'm titling the video today the way it is because I didn't upload a Lethal Company video yesterday, even though I operate under the objective to upload daily Lethal Company content. Uh, my bad. But also, we're gonna get over it. And we're gonna go into our second attempt of the solo Lethal Company Iron Man challenge in update 50. As I try to put this text back up on the screen here, it is once again 2.45 in the morning as we're attempting this. And that's probably just going to be a recurring theme for these solo Iron Man challenges. Because it's the best time for me to record <laughs> on work days. Kind of reminds me of my Call of Duty days back during Modern Warfare 2. There's an old bird, by the way. Um, attempt to number two looking kind of crazy already. Uh, but yeah, back when Modern Warfare 2 came out, I would wake up super early before school and play a couple of hours of Call of Duty then. Then go to school, and then when I'd get back, I'd do my homework or whatever, and then play more Call of Duty before bed. So this is kind of just me returning to my gamer roots, for, uh, in in a sense. I even made Call of Duty videos back then. That's something that I've been wanting to share with my Lethal Company uh, audience at some point. But it's not something I'm going to do in this video yet. If you somehow find my Call of Duty channel, then kudos to you. But, uh... Yeah, that'll be for another video when I talk about like how I got into content creation or just video making video game videos in general. But yeah, going into attempt number two for the Iron Man challenge here. Um, yeah, as far as like the daily Lethal Company uploads go, I'm still gonna be going for those, but I'm not gonna like be too upset if I miss a day or anything. And I'm also not gonna make a big deal out of it. Other than this, this is probably the biggest deal I'll make out of it. Just uh. I'm pre-firing a title for this video by by doing this. So, um, yeah, I, I forget where that line of thought was going. N reason why I forgot is because the loot. I'm not seeing any loot here, but we get a loot room, of course, nothing. But we at least get two lockers this time, bro. Need to focus up here. As you can see, I didn't buy a shovel this time. I feel like it'll um, just kind of slow me down a bit. And I feel like in order to maximize here, or I'm basically not running shovel under the premise that I will get a good generation that doesn't require me to bring one. Just uh, something I won't have to manage. Oh, I heard a piece of loot drop, so I think there's a hoarding bug nearby. Yeah, there's a door open. Um, oh, spore lizard. Interesting. Hello. Of course, now that I don't have the shovel, I'm finding a reason to want one. Make sure I don't fall onto a landmine here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna carry this with me because of that hoarding bug. Hello. Um, this looks like a dead end as well. Getting a lot of dead ends. I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna have to steal that large axle at some point because it's worth quite a bit. Almost walked off the <laughs> map right there. Hmm. Or lizard there. Actually, that's pretty good. Like those two spawns. That's two of four power level used. That means I'm never gonna get like a Bracken or a Thumper or anything. Like two enemies that would make this run super annoying. I could still get Snare Fleet, but Snare Fleets aren't that bad in solo. Because you can at least live one guaranteed. So that's fine. Um, I didn't navigate this to the best of my ability, however. <laughs> Don't want to get bitten by this spore lizard, so I'll give him a chance to run away real quick. Mm. Wasting a lot of flashlight here, unfortunately. Let's turn it off now. I think I can make it back to the main entrance here. Hello. Please keep running. Uh, I think I'm gonna try fire exit. Got a flask and large axle here. 
Let's drop this off at the ladder, I guess. Although I'm not sure if dropping here is the best play now. Now that I can't do the crouch run to the platform. But yeah. I'm kind of remembering what I was talking about before I got distracted by the lack of loot. Something about daily lethal company uploads and whatnot. I kind of looked back at how much lethal company I've uploaded in the past few months. And if you didn't know, I have a playlist of all of my long form lethal company videos all put together. Should be on my channel. Maybe I'll put it in the description. Just uh, it's called lethal company videos. And it's not including like uh, the clips that I uploaded at the start of my lethal company journey. Back when the meta for lethal company videos was just to upload your funniest clips of your friends and stuff. Um, with just, with uh, just long form videos, like ones that actually took me time to edit and whatnot, I've uploaded, according to this list here, about like 140 of those videos. And I kind of did some quick math before, I don't know why I'm running this all the way back right now, maybe because of the hoarding bug. I did some quick math and I've already, I've, in that playlist there's about 130 or so hours of Lethal Company content to go watch. So I've uploaded um, close to 100 and... Okay, I had to make sure I make that jump. 130. I've uploaded 130 hours of Lethal Com Company content just about, which I think is an insane number. That's about like half of my Lethal Company playing time because I, I still have... I'm still just shy of 300 hours in Lethal Company. I'm at 272 as I uh, loaded up this game here. So that's a lot of lethal company. And I would say probably just double my lethal company hours because that's about how much time it takes me to edit videos. I used to take a lot longer to edit videos when I first started out while I was still getting the flow of what a lethal company video would look like on my channel. But now that I've you know, gotten the reps in and had quite a few reps, I have a pretty straightforward way of editing I'd say. Especially since uh, a lot of you guys prefer the minimal editing and just the cuts and whatnot. Doesn't take a crazy amount of time. Obviously, I'm I pick my spots still for the most part. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just upload the full video, which is fine for some people as well. But yeah. Oh, like that sounds like an apparatus. I can't tell if that's just an ambient sound though. But it, it would be over there. How do you get over there? I already checked up here, right? I would. Oh, I see. I just need to go a bit farther, I think. I might be on the other side of a power door. Hmm. Make sure I don't get snare fleet here. Yeah, I'm hearing it again. But I have to keep going that way, and I'm not sure how to keep going that way. Landmine. Pretty sure it's not going to be that way. It's going to be here and then to the right, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, this is the other side of that locked door. Because that's the hoarding bug stash. Hmm. So I probably don't have to worry about hoarding bugs on this side. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe I should have written down that power door from earlier, because I might have to go behind it in order to find stuff. But I also haven't gone this way yet. Let's go here. Because, I mean, there's already a guaranteed large axle over on this side. Okay, is that a plot? Oh, no. Oh. Thought that was something. Oh, there's apparatus room, actually. With a clip, but I'm not going to clip because it's been fixed. My favorite tech in the game has finally been fixed, but that's okay. You can play either way. Clip or no clip. I'm not pulling the apparatus yet because I can just pull it on the way back. I can even go for the large axle first. Which I think I'll do here. Just so I have light all the way through breaker box right here. Oh well, I guess I can open up the power door that way, huh? So 
But when I pull the apparatus, it's not gonna matter. Okay. I wonder if I make this jump with this weight. The jump right here. Did I send it? Alright, attempt number three coming. I didn't even make the jump. I, I thought about turning on the flashlight. Rare occurrence where we're gonna have two attempts in one video. Hopefully it stays rare as well. <laughs> Let's just go. Embarrassing. Um, I guess I can scan while we wait. I'm a little sad though because the old bird was on that map and I like playing around them. Someone said in one of my other videos, or when I tried the hardcore Iron Man, that the old bird spawn is a less than 1% chance on experimentation. I haven't gotten verified that yet. I don't know if like Mira Haze has been updated or anything. And I still haven't looked at the game files myself but a less than one percent chance is pretty crazy it's also really funny to have old birds on the beginner map very similar to having nutcrackers and ghost girls being able to spawn here which are also a less than one percent chance spawn there are 12 objects by the way pretty good you get three full inventories, or four inventories if you include the pro flashlight. Um, so I shouldn't be short of loot here. Boom. Immediate landmine to the left. Let's see if we clear the right way first. Okay, cool. Make sure, you know, that I'm not... Um, Missing just some free loot by the entrance. Oh, loot room, cool. That's a tattered metal sheet. Oh, but maybe something else down here? Another loot room? Server room. Crazy lighting going on right here. You'd think I'd find something else. Just get this tattered metal sheet at the entrance, which is fine, also. Grab. <laughs> the crazy sound. Oops. That was poorly executed on my part all around. Okay. Let's see what we do here with this. Oh, okay. Bike trap. Bike trap leading into a big room, but I guess I don't have to go under that one. There's an open vent here. So I wonder what it is. Maybe a snare flea? Hmm. Usually finding a big room like this means that you're pretty safe, because you could trap stuff there. But um, you can't trap things anymore in official update 50 that's been patched. Not a lot of cheese left over. I think Bracken cheese is still in the game. Oh five. Just in case I need to go open that. That's also an insane amount of time to spend. That looks like a dead end behind a spike trap. You know, it says 12 pieces of loot. I haven't found a single one yet. Pretty insane. Oh, uh, well, I see a loot room in the distance. Nothing in there either. Fire exit. Don't know how I feel about that. We finally find our first piece of loot. Still nothing. That's three lockers in this loot room, by the way. And only one piece of loot. And it's not even in the locker, either. <laughs> Might be something that way. Not gonna know right now though. Um, can go up top real quick. Yeah, up there. It goes even farther up. Oh, there's a breaker box right there. I guess I could turn the breaker off to open that power door. The O5 power door. V-type, another gift. That's kind of fun. 
Anything down this? Just a dead end. I haven't seen an enemy yet either. Pretty interesting. Another tattered metal. That, please. Dead end. I'm probably gonna have to go behind that, uh, behind that door. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's only half the, the scrap on the map. Should be five more scrap items plus the apparatus. Nothing up here either. 255, still have a bit of time. Okay. I'll eventually fix where this flashlight is positioned. Bottles is pretty good. I feel like that's kind of a rare spawn on experimentation. Definitely beats a lot of the other two-handed variants. Okay. Let's just fix this real quick. You know, I could have just left it out there while I bring this E-type back out. I'd be slightly faster, five pounds less carried, but... Okay, we're talking like milliseconds here. Okay. Now the timing is a little weird. I should have turned off the breaker when I was up there. We're gonna do it now. Just to go to that one door. <laughs> Bike traps still work, even with the power out. Basically. Over here, right? It's not over here, then. Okay. Anything behind this? No. Okay. Then it's clearly somewhere else. Is there actually something behind this? Alright. There is, but not really. This is a timer one, so I'm gonna let it go. Hmm. Am I gonna have to just settle for what I have out there? Hmm. It's not the worst loot. I feel like I didn't go all the way around yet. Ooh, ooh, I almost fell off. Alright, let's just run it back right now. Maybe we come back and cheese some loot from the hoarding book. Because I do have to make quite a few trips with all these two-handed items, so... Like, even though I didn't get the most loot, it's not free just yet. Yeah. Not those engines were kind of low rolls, also. Not my favorite experimentation ever. By the way, if anyone's asking when I'll do another uh, collab video, it'll be soon. You know, just uh, the people I play with aren't necessarily available at these crazy hours, so. And it's hard for, harder for me to even be awake at regular hours now. Mostly because I had a different work schedule this week. That I work uh, 8 to 4.30 on weekdays and then I have weekends off. So normally I have energy to film afterwards. But I had an additional work day this past weekend. So uh, yeah, six days a week is a little different. I have another six day work week this week as well. So... Uh, yeah. Just trying to manage my energy for that. And the reason why it's six weeks, or six days, is because, you know, I, I still do my sushi gigs on this side. My main job is not in sushi anymore, but I do keep myself open to those. Because sushi's still good. Alright. Run these back. I don't think I'll have time, really. To do, um, to find much else. I can probably just take a quick 
peek into the interior again, but... I mean, like... I feel like I went deep in, to the, enough to the point where a quick peek's not gonna change a lot. Yeah... You know... We, we saw it on the monitor. It said 12 objects. I didn't see 12 objects, unfortunately. I think I saw a lock. I think I saw a locked door at some point, and there might have been a way to go back there, but I didn't get any keys either. And I didn't commit to a lock picker early enough. But it's okay. 192. I mean, that's not fantastic. <laughs> Especially with 444 on the map. Like, that just kind of seems like a bit of cap. But I, maybe I just went down the wrong way in the maze, unfortunately. Foggy Assurance. Which I think is new, right? No, I'm tripping. I'm not gonna do the fire exit jump this time. Because I'm gonna play main entrance. Because it's not an Eclipse Assurance, so I can actually play main. Uh, I think walking back up and around like this was a little slow. Because this was the fastest way to the main entrance before. I'm not sure if that's entirely the case now with the new physics. But the way I did it just now, for sure not the fastest way. Backtracking. Or just dismounting at the wrong spot in the first place. Okay, no turret. Um, but there, there is changes to fog though. The, the, the amount of fog or vision obscured from fog is dependent on feed now. Not just completely awful every time. That said, oh, yikes. Um, I don't know how to deal with, I'm gonna, if, if I will deal with that even. Where was that bike trap? Heard that. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> this is looking like there's gonna be a t an attempt to number three, to be honest. Comedy mask and a key. Now I'm getting all the keys. And my pathing is kind of insane right now because of what I've witnessed so far. I feel like I don't need to unlock that. There's probably a door down here. Oh. I am striking out with this specific loot room. Insane. Stop sign. I can defend myself now. Air horn is good. I should consider going fire exit. With Maybe it's a good thing that I haven't found it yet. Hmm. Almost forgot the important thing. Okay. Anything up there other than the breaker? No, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I'm not picking that up. Unless I should. It could be like storm bait. Oh, but there's an Easter egg too? Okay, hold on. Wait, there's another door here. And it's the apparatus room? Okay. Okay, oops. Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. A lot just happened all at once. And there's actually an apparatus in here, too. Hmm. What do I do? 
This is like not the closest either. Okay, hmm. let's find our way back and try to remember how to get here. Oh, hello. Never punished. Oh, never punished again. Just dropping Easter eggs like no business, no one's business. I'm gonna try to not forget where all the loot's at right now. Okay, maybe I will pick this up. <laughs> Especially with the fire exit right there. It's not gonna be my priority loot. Get that cookie mold pan as well. Although I probably could have went back for this um, when I go for the apparatus. Make sure I have enough time to collect everything too. How did I? Where did I come from? Miss that. No, I mean there's like four different entrances here. I'm gonna get dizzy if I think about it right now. Just kind of gotta move. Two seventeen. Get that stop sign. And mask too. Mask somewhere. Not there, it's over here. I thought it was over here. Uh oh, I forget. Is it over here? Oh damn it, okay. Well, I know it's close. What do I get for going for the whoopee cushion instead? Hmm. Not in that room. Hmm? What was the 68 that I just scanned right now? What the f Okay. Like, I don't remember there being that much loot. Cool. But yeah, I definitely have to start taking this stuff back. And I will get that key, too. I imagine if I missed that stuff. Would have been insane. Grab the apparatus too, so I don't have to come back in here. But I don't think I'm gonna get another trip. I think this is all she wrote for me. I must have gotten like spiders and snare fleas map wise, because I've not experienced a single enemy on this map. And I'm gonna eat those words now that I pulled this. But I'm pretty sure. I'd, I'd imagine that we've already reached the capacity for bonds by now. And the question is if I make it back here. Maybe I should have dropped stuff, but we're going to take one inventory first before we leave a bunch of baboon hawk fodder. Even now, I still don't have the best RNG with that stuff. Okay, I went the wrong way back. I could just do the parkour instead, it's probably faster than climbing this. 
I haven't tried. Oop. I haven't tried the parkour though in update 50 though. I gotta go revisit everything. It's that. <laughs> okay, let's drop all the inexpensive stuff first. Then I can take the best inventory back right away. Pretty sure this is. Oh, well. I'm gonna be a little quiet now in case of dogs. I'm not going back for that whoopee cushion. <laughs> I think it's okay if I sacrifice it. Um, I got lucky with the exterior here too. Just the one sandworm. Maybe two. But no baboon hawks, no dog. No giants. I brought everything back, right? At least the notable stuff. 402, not bad. Kind of hoping for a little bit more. You know what? It would have been more with the with the egg. <laughs> Got a little unlucky there. Uh, flooded vow. Fire exit jump still work. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's beehives. Unless there is, and I was a little late. I don't know. I get. I had a little bit of lag loading in, unfortunately. Wasn't early enough to get the IV scan, but that was the fastest I can get there. Maybe if I had like the word scan copy pasted already, I'd have been able to get there a little bit faster. I think we'll check the fire exit first. Then I'll jump out. Hmm. Okay, well there's a turret behind a locked door. I also just realized I left the key on the previous map, but I don't think I used the key either way. Also, fire exit's basically useless right now. Until I get a key. Don't really like maps that or only one map is really viable, but... Oh, this might be slow. It's slow now, I missed. Okay, I can't really see, so I'm gonna have to have the flashlight on. Grab that, that's important. Um, okay. 
I have to be wary of turrets now, because usually one turret spawn usually means that there's more. Of course there's fog again. Okay. Like we're ha we have to go into the Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. I might have to buy a shovel. What the... Okay, yeah. I have to buy a shovel. Oh, he didn't care that I just jumped over him. Cause I cannot just leave Val with an egg beater. Okay. Um. Or I get the lock picker and I go to the bottom instead. Well, I ha I'm going to have to buy a shovel anyway for offense. So now's the time to get it. You know, we tried saving some time by not getting the shovel, but we're paying for it, unfortunately. Cool. Now that I'll do this. Maybe the lock picker was the play, but then I have to play fire exit. And if I run out of flashlight, then it's gonna be harder for me to get out of there. We are risking a Val exterior play now. I think it's gonna happen either way, but. Oh, that came faster than I thought. I guess it's just at the beginning of the day when it takes a while. Cool. Oh. Not as much time lost as I thought. There was more time lost in having to come back and buy the shovel than waiting for the dropship. Okay. Mm. Hopefully the loot is worth it now. I mean, 15 objects is good, but I said that about experimentation also and didn't find anywhere near 12 objects. I mean, the spider should be set up now, right? So maybe I don't even have to kill it. Is that a bracken? Let's check under here. They can at least be under here. Maybe. Coil head? Oh my, okay. I don't know about this one, guys. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> what do I... Okay. What do I do to deserve... Coil head on Val. Wait, can you not make that jump anymore? Oh my god, okay. Alright, maybe I hit something up top. I wanted to jump up behind it, I guess. I wanted to make the most space so that way I can maybe lose it in there. That's messed up, because I, I died to that jump in a previous, like a recent run also. Hmm. Oh, we learned the hard way. I think that's all I really have time for tonight, or this morning, unfortunately. Hopefully I can film tonight, because I, I do prefer playing with friends versus solo. I do have some ideas that I want to film in Update 50 yet that make less sense to film solo. Like, I want to, I want to save the more fun ideas when I play with people. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace.